We're on our way to a getaway in Mount Adams right now, and the view from the car is such an amazing sight. The address for our getaway is Mount Adams Highway, Glenwood, Washington, 98619. The getaway was such a nice tiny little cabin and it had a name and it was Bruce and we even got to look through a gigantic window and see stars, hear birds singing and see the forest and it had a tiny little box where you could put your phones in to really disconnect from technology and spend time with family so that was really fun. Multnomah well, Falls was named because of the legend of the local native people that tells a story about how a maiden sacrificed herself to save the tribe from a plague by tossing herself from the top of a cliff. The tribe was rescued and a creek formed at the top of the cliff creating Multnomah Falls. Our family definitely loves beaches. We love the ocean. And the beach in Lincoln City was a lot different than what we're used to in when we go to Florida. In Florida, it has very white sand, but it was like sugar. But here they have darker sand, and they have these big boulders uh, in the sand, in the water, and they cause like tidal pools and stuff. And there's a lot of algae and other things that were a little bit new to us. The, but the sunset was definitely very beautiful, and we had a great time. You can park your car and even the view from inside is definitely amazing. Boiler Bay State Scenic Viewpoint.
Faircrest State Scenic Viewpoint. Devil's Punch Bowl Arch was named because people said that the devil came down and punched a hole in the rock. Newport has tons of male sea lions. Why only male? Well, because they're going to go down to San Francisco to meet up with the female sea lions. Once you arrive in Newport, next to the Clearwater restaurant, you can find a wooden dock where you can see the sea lions. Next, we went to a local ocean restaurant. The food was amazing, but a little bit pricey. To find out more about our trip, make sure to watch part two. Thank you.